Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Friday, May the 9th. I'm James Spann. After our long dry spell, wet weather is back today. Check the water vapor satellite view. That big trough that's been over the western states is moving out. Thankfully, the core dynamics of this will be passing way north of here, moving up into Canada, so we don't expect any severe weather problems here today. That's the way the radar looked at 5.04 this morning. The leading edge of that big rain mass west of the state was nearing the Golden Triangle of uh, northeast Mississippi, and that'll be moving into our state later today. Big thermal contrast uh, back in the colder air behind that trough. We've got uh, temperatures at or below freezing in some spots, but very mild here. We're starting off the day in the 70s. We stay in the 70s all day. Won't be as warm this afternoon because of the clouds and rain. There is a risk of severe weather west of the state from the Rio Grande to Texas, up through much of Arkansas, West Tennessee, up to near Indianapolis. But again, no part of Alabama is involved in that. Tomorrow, a standard slight risk for much of Missouri. And on day three, which is Sunday, a risk of severe weather from West Texas to near Chicago. But again, uh, no risks defined for our state. Here's the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Wednesday morning of next week, suggesting rain totals of about one inch here. Let's go in there and take a look, see if we can get the timing of the rain down for you. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon. This is at 500 millibars. And again, you can see how the core dynamics is passing pretty far north of here. The surface low up in Canada, trailing batch of showers and storms down in through here. This is the high-res NAM at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Looks pretty wet. Uh, clearly, there could be some thunder involved. But again, severe weather not expected. Now, this is 8 o'clock this evening, and uh, this particular run of the high-res NAM hinting that the bulk of the rain could be south and east of Birmingham. I know a lot of people have some things going on tonight, uh, graduation events, uh, concerts. And understand that the radar is not going to look exactly like this, but there is a chance, at least a chance, in uh, maybe parts of the Birmingham metro and Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, the rain will died down somewhat tonight, but that's sure not a promise, just a possibility. And then tomorrow looks drier. This is tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock, and you can see only spotty, scattered showers across the state. So uh, let's look at the GFS. Still, it's going to be a good moisture pool in place, but clearly the weather tomorrow should not be as wet as the weather today. We'll have the chance of a few passing showers or at least scattered showers around the state, but an all-day rain, no. And the sun might be out at times. And then Sunday should be a relatively dry day. The chance of rain, very small. I think we'd almost take it out. Uh, partly sunny and warm with a high well up in the 80s, probably mid-80s. And the same thing on Monday. So Sunday and Monday are looking dry. Partly sunny both days. The chance of a shower just tiny. We note that new surface low Monday is located near Madison, Wisconsin, with a trailing front down to about Abilene, Texas. And then this is Tuesday. Pretty good-looking trough here. This is a full-latitude trough. We'll be supporting the cold front. The surface low well north of here. Uh, midday Tuesday, the cold front coming through Memphis. This is midnight or just after midnight Tuesday night. The showers are coming in here. So it looks like it might be Tuesday night with a core chance of rain with that feature. And again, that's not really a severe weather look. And then on Wednesday, we get into noticeably cooler and drier air. Highs may be dropping into the low 70s with a good north breeze. Lower humidity, and then Thursday will be a beautiful day. Now, we'll start the day down in the 40s. Not many more of those left before the summer gets here. And the high will be in the 70s. Low humidity, just gorgeous. And Friday, again, a great day. That's a week from today, May 16th. We'll check the end of the forecast, May 24th. Ridging in place here. And if that's right, it would be very warm, if not hot with only a small chance of a shower. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 4 o'clock or so this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.